Welcome to our Hearts for Learning Maths Games. This game is Bank the Difference. So today we're going to play a game called Banker. Uh, for this game you need a selection of things in your bank. We have decided that we're going to go with our jewels and we've got our jewels in our bank. And you need a dice each. So I have a yellow dice. And I have a blue dice. Right, okay, so we're going to roll our dice. So let's roll them. So Ellen has rolled a six and I have rolled a four. So she takes six jewels out of the bank and lines them up. And I take four and line them up. So we can see now that we've lined them up that Ellen has put them back a minute. So there are six jewels in this row and four in this one. So what's the difference between our two sets of jewels? Two. Two. So therefore you get to keep the difference because you rolled the bigger amount and the rest of our jewels go back into our bank. Right, let's roll the dice again. So I've rolled a five and you've rolled a one. So you get your one dice, one jewel. And you get your one jewel. <laughs> I get my five jewels. So we can see the five is bigger than the one and it has a difference of one, two, three, four. So I get to keep those four and the rest go in the bank. Your turn. And we're going to play the first person to get um, 10 jewels. So Ellen has rolled a five and I have rolled a one. So you get your five jewels and I'll get my one jewel. So we can see uh, you've rolled five and I've rolled one. Our difference is one, two, three, four. So you keep those. How many jewels have you got now? I've got, I estimated I've got six. So you've got six and I've got four. So let's put our jewels back in the dice, roll the, uh, the bank, put our jewels back in the bank. So you roll your dice again and I'll roll mine. Oh, we both rolled a six. So we'll roll again. So I've rolled a two, you've rolled a three. We can see here that the difference between our two and our three is one. You've rolled the bigger number, you get to keep it. Right, your turn to roll. Let's roll again. I have rolled a one and you have rolled a five. There's my one. <laughs> okay, there's my one. Right, so... We've rolled a five and a one. Our difference between our five and our one is one, two, three, four. You take that. Have you got ten jewels yet? No. But yes. Yes. So, should we put it on here? So, one, two, four, six. Got one there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. You've now got more than 10 jewels, so you are the winner. Well done. Here's a reminder of how to play Bank the Difference. The things you'll need. A collection of objects in your bank. A dotted dice for each player. And some sort of bank. Both players roll the dice and collect the same number of objects as the number rolled. You then compare the objects and calculate the difference. The person with the larger amount keeps the difference and the rest of the objects go back into the bank. You continue to play until there aren't enough objects left in the bank to compare and the winner is the person with the most objects. The maths this game supports. When comparing the two amounts rolled, you're ordering them, deciding which one is larger or smaller. The task is to calculate the difference. By lining the, up the objects collected, you are creating a bar model, where the difference can be calculated by seeing how many match, and then seeing how many more there are. The difference. When subtracting, 
you can reduce amount, take away, or compare an amount, find the difference. With younger children, we tend to do more take away for subtraction, so this game provides practice for the comparison model for subtraction. To calculate the difference, we are using three possible strategies. One, subitizing or seeing the difference once the objects are lined up. Two, we could count on from the small amount to the large amount. Or three, counting back from the large amount to the smaller amount. How could the game be adapted? Rather than having a collection of objects that are all the same, in your bank you could have a collection of objects that are various different sizes. This would support the children's conservation of number because they'd have to match up the objects of different sizes to see whether they could calculate the difference or not. Another option is that the objects could have a value. For example, each object could be worth five or a tenth. So when you're comparing, you'll have to calculate the total first, then make the comparison to find the difference. The bank could actually be a collection of different coins in a bag that you can't see. So when you roll the dice, you take the number of coins rolled. Then you'd have to find the total and then compare. So it will be a slight look of the draw. You might collect three pound coins or you might collect three pennies. But the calculation that they would need to do to find the difference would be more complicated. So it would be suitable for older children. If you want to keep up to date with what the Hearts for Learning Maths team are up to, you can follow us on Twitter at Hearts Maths or join our Facebook group, Essential Maths Primary Maths Group. We also have a growing number of games videos available on our YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to.